everybody, I'm Tony Fleming from Fleming's Ultimate Garage. Thanks for joining me on today's British video. And while I don't have an accent and not from Britain, I do know a little bit about British cars and I think that's maybe why you're watching this day thinking, maybe, maybe I'll get a British car and maybe I'll find out why I might like a British car and I'm gonna do my best to show you why. This is a collectible and you say, well, how do you know what collectibles are and things like that? Well, here's what I say. I say that low production vehicles, and this is one of the lowest production years for the TR6 as it's the last year of the car, right? The TR7 was coming out later the next year. This car here has great style, great style and sports car features that you can't get on many other cars. For instance, an inline six cylinder, right? Most sports cars, we have lots of MGs and all stuff around here, all four cylinders, one 1.6s, 1.8s, and things like that. Here we got a nice, handsome two and a half liter six, right? Great sounding too. This has twin stainless exhaust on it, right? This has a uh, ridiculously great looking paint. I don't need to tell you all about that, but uh, my point is that, that all of these things make up for a great car. However, being the last year it's produced, right? And low production figures and restored makes for a great car. All right, so we're talking about mimosa yellow paint. This is a great looking color, man. I, you know, there's pale yellows, there's bright yellows, there's dark yellows. This is just the right color. I think whoever decided to name it that gave us a great sense of what this is. It's a Sunday brunch mimosa. It's a Sunday go for a drive car maybe take it to work on a Friday, get in that car after work and go, man, this is so nice. Anyway, we like to show off the paint quality in here because pictures can be made to look whatever you want them to look like, right? Manipulation, you guys have seen AI, you've seen all the things that can happen with photos, but video is different, right? Here we want to show you how to look at paint. So most people look at paint and go, wow, that's really shiny. But what I'm going to ask you to do is not to look at the paint, but look at the things in the paint. So for instance, the ceiling, right? The beams in the ceiling, the text on this page, you look at that and you see how crisp and clear it is. And when it's crisp and clear like that, that's better quality paint. When it becomes fuzzy, right, that's less quality paint. Even though it might be shiny in pictures, it's not as nice paint. And I think you're going to really like this because this right here is super crisp and clear. All right, so I get this all the time. Somebody will say, hey, Tone, that's a great looking car. But you don't really know why it's a great looking car. You just think it's a great looking car. And I want to point out a couple of things. First off, the paint we already talked about, that's a great car, right? It's a great color, makes the car look fabulous. It's so period correct. Like today, uh, I'm not sure an M4 could pull off this color yellow. This car pulls it off nice and easy. All new chrome and stainless. This has the driving lights built in, right? Driving lights built in. Like you don't really get driving lights anymore, right? That's been eliminated. This right here for a sports car was kind of a pioneering, especially from, uh, from England. Here, these are 15 inch uh, wheels with red line radials, right? These are, uh, these are reproductions of the original one and they just make for a much nicer, nicer uh, look and they drive better. So the original ones were bias ply uh, and the radial kind of came out the following year or somewhere in that range, depending on what year these were built. But what I get at is that like these little touches, this trim ring, the fact that it looks big and it looks muscular inside there is that whole other piece that, that gives you a great looking sports car. All right, so many of our clients buy these and they just love to drive them, enjoy them, uh, and don't really care about what's under the hood, as long as it runs well and looks good. And there are others that want to take it to a car show and, and show it off. And in the case of either one of those people, you're both right, okay? Uh, but what we do want, even if you don't really want to spend time looking under the hood, is make sure that it's clean and detailed. And that's kind of what you're getting in a classic car here. Like we go through that, we have a, a department that just does engine detail and undercarriage detail of cars. That's why when you see the photos on the site, they're much nicer than everybody else's. And here's a perfect example of what I'm talking about. The engine is painted one color. The valve cover is painted the correct color there. The carburetors, like it's not a lot of work we have to do on these because this car was restored, but you can see the new wiring that's in there, uh, all of the things here. It's not spray bombed one color. It's still got the mimosa yellow in here. Here's an original, this is the original paint, I believe, underneath the hood here because uh, that decal is still there. And I'm not sure that you can still get that decal. Uh, don't forget too, we have uh, disc brakes, we have rack and pinion steering, all the things that today's modern sports car has, this has built in as well as an independent rear suspension, right? Super nice things for a sports car, it's why they drive so well, it's why people love them, and the simple fact is, with six cylinders, it sounds great. 
All right, so you see a car like this and you go, wow, that's a great little sports car, but is it functional too? And the answer is absolutely is it functional, right? This has an enormous amount of you know, storage and, and luggage carrying capability. You say, Tony, it's a sports car. How could it possibly have that? You're right. However, behind the rear seat is plenty of room for two soft bags, right? You can also put hard bags up here if you wanted to. And then once we move into the trunk here, check this out. The trunk is enormous for a little car. It's got all this space in here. Throw some more bags in there, what have you. Or a couple lawn chairs. Go to a car show. Put your little lawn chair out there and hang out and just kind of look at your car and answer some questions to some people who are just enamored by this great looking piece of British history. All right, so listen, before we get inside, you're walking up to your car, you drove it to work, it's a Friday, man, you're like, oh, I love this car. You're walking and you're going, this is some kind of just British fabulousness right and then you go and you go you know what even better once you get inside here uh super nice and i will tell you what i do like a little bit about these as well is that there's a lot of room like i'm six one and there is plenty of room in here uh to wheel this car down the road if you've never driven one of these, what I do love as well is with the independent rear suspension, it has a little squat to it, right? When you get on the gas, it squats down a little bit, wheels toe out, and it gets great traction that way. Here you get to see all the important stuff in front of your face. 7,000 RPM tack, 140 mile an hour speedometer, right? Uh, full array of gauges here. And all the things like this little stuff here are working the way they're supposed to, right? Let you know the hazards are there. This has a heating system. This is an upgraded digital sound system. We just bought a few other little knobs and things like that that'll be installed. The car just arrived. We'll have some cool looking mats that go in it. Uh, we'll show you the final pictures when we're done. But at the end of the day, this is kind of, uh, it's early in the video, but it's a great car to start with. And so these final little touches will be just wonderful. And uh, lastly, think about going to dinner or something like that, going to a winery in something like this instead of your everyday SUV, right? This is a game changer. It makes you just feel better no matter where you're going and what you're doing. The sound it makes is not something you can buy in a car today, and that really is the thing that takes you to the next level. All right, so we close up this video. I just want to run down a few things. We talked about a lot of stuff. You're probably thinking to yourself, you know what? This is a cool car. I like that. I like the people there. I like the place I'm getting it from. The car looks good. And that's exactly what you're getting. You're getting a car that somebody has gone through, meaning us. We've gone through the car front to back. 120 point inspection on the car, right? That you don't get anywhere else. Uh, you can also get an extended warranty on this car that nobody else can offer you because of the inspection and the process that we put these through. Great looking mimosa paint, awesome interior, fabulous dual exhaust and stainless. Just sounds great going down the road. Shifter doing this, you have to work. And just like therapy, man, it's just so cool. That's why I smile when I talk about it because I know how much fun you'll have. Anyway, call us 301 816 1000. We'll tell you all about this TR6, last year TR6 too, which makes it collect. All right. Don't forget to hit the like button down below there. It helps get our message out, and I really appreciate that. Share it with your friends. They might like it as well. There's a share button too. And uh, subscribe to the channel. We got new stuff coming out all the time. And I'll see you on the next one.